Hey, what's happening, friends? Let's talk about the engine and the Cobra. You know, a long time ago, I went to this engine shop, and I was like, hey, I've got this 4.6 liter Ford, and I want to make a really nasty, naturally aspirated engine. What kind of stuff would you do, and what do you recommend? And they said, you know, everybody wants to talk about the sexy parts, the displacement and the cam specs. But the most important part is making the things that are supposed to be round, round, and making the things that are supposed to be flat, flat, and making the things that are supposed to be straight, straight. And if you can do those things properly, everything else will work how it's supposed to work. But if you cannot do those things properly, it doesn't matter how cool your parts are, they're not going to work. So we built a fairly basic flat top piston, big bore stroker, moderately cammed 4.6 liter. It ended up being 5.3 liters when it was all said and done, close to 12 to 1 compression. It's about 11, 8 to 1 compression. The heads have been ported, and the cams are Crower stage three naturally aspirated i hate using cam stages but that's how they're marketed um 484 lift and right at 230 degrees of duration at 50 they're not super big cams um i wanted a broad flat power band and then you know following the theory of just make everything work efficiently and properly together so what you have is a really stout NA 4.6 based aluminum motor making right at 500 wheel horsepower, just, just shy of 500 wheel horsepower. So, you know, back then I wanted the car to do it all. Drag race, road race, street drive. Um, the heads are actually drilled for a little wet kit. Uh, direct port but I ended up not ever doing that the car runs so good on motor I really didn't see the need to to push it to its breaking point so you know diamond pistons manly rods FR500 intake stainless steel valves titanium locks and retainers it is all the basics, but it is, it, it's that, it's basic. There's nothing super exotic in the engine. Um, the FR500 has been worked originally by Roush Racing, and then I've gone back through it and touched it up and cleaned it up. You know, AccuFab throttle body, and everything's been port matched and blended and smoothed. Um, you know, focusing on every little detail, every little detail. I wanted the intake to look like the original FR500s. You can't recreate that coating. So I had the manifold coated by a local shop. Um, you know, there's definitely bigger horsepower motors that have been built. Out of the 4.6 liter, you can jack the compression up. You can jack the cam specs way up. And you can make over 600 horsepower spinning the motor way higher. But I just didn't have those goals. So after AHM built it, I got a bunch, a bunch of race miles out of it. I had Wonder Racing refresh it. Um... And I'm not going to say anything negative about either company. They both did great jobs. The, the motor's performing excellently. We made a few changes at Wonder Racing. We went from the Canton Pan to the GT500 windage tray. Um, we'll get into Rev Auto tuning it when we cover ECU and electronics. I'll do a full video on that. But, you know, I can't stress 
it's very basic. It's very simple. I just focused on every detail. And, you know, if you've been following me for a minute, you know it runs good. Um, 3,100 pound race weight. Well, 3,275 with me in it. Race weight. Making 490 wheel horsepower. It is, um... It is a hell of a ride.